because the most frequent comment I get from readers of the book is that they made every one of those errors sure. because they're natural to do. One error is to overreact to the child who, who rejects you or complains about having to spend time with you. It's a natural thing for a parent to do, but it just doesn't work. Uh, some parents get too angry and that scares the child, makes them even less likely to want to spend time with you. Some parents will reject the child themselves. They'll say, if you don't want to spend time here, you go back to your other home and when you're ready to come here, then I'll see you. These parents don't realize that that may be the beginning of the end of the relationship, that the children won't come back. They go back to their other house and that parent says, boy, I guess he doesn't really care very much about seeing you and, and that may be the end of it. Uh, of course, it's a mistake to retaliate by bad-mouthing the other parent. That doesn't help. We're trying to get the children to take sides with you against the other parent. That just keeps the children in the middle, makes things even worse for them. Uh, so the, these are the sorts of things you want to avoid. You've got to have a thick skin. When you're a parent and a child is being so critical, these children can act really in a very contemptible manner. Sure. Um, and normally when a child acts that way, you want to lecture them, you want to punish them for being so disrespectful, but that just doesn't work. And you can't talk them out of their feelings either. So you've got to have a thick skin. You've got to show them that you're not the demon that you might have been painted as. Uh, you have to be patient with them. You have to try to remind them of the better times you've had in the past and show them that they can enjoy being with you.